bet you have a lot of questions, primarily, how does this even work? Well, it works using a bunch of stuff, but primarily what we have to understand is that everything in the game goes off in a certain order, especially if it's powered within the same tick. We use synchronized clocks on all of these receivers and, of course, uh, transmitters. For example, this repeater will always, no matter what, if it's synced, go off before every comparator, because it has priority. Now, over here we have lines of these components to have very specific priorities. Over here it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which we use to transmit data. And over here we have in-between priorities that let us basically disrupt the amount of data being transferred here. Uh, so if we go over here, items actually have a very specific mechanic that we are exploiting for this. It's an optimization. Now, items, when they're dropped, are based off of their entity ID, um, processed in a certain order, and that is mod 4. So it's processed in groups 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If we want to disrupt that uh, set, well, we actually can't. It's always like that. But what we can do is we can have a set of 4 that we are observing. No matter where, you can just observe one, drop 3 drunk items, and then observe one, drop 3 drunk items, and then observe one, drop 3 drunk items, and then observe one. And if there is a disruption in the observation, that means the data was inserted in between in a very specific area of update order. And that is actually what we use to transmit data. So if you check here, we check for equivalency. And if the data isn't equivalent from A and B, that means data was pushed in in between and it was made uneven. So if I input this here, you see that it pushes out one item which disrupts the equivalency here, and it outputs data. Now, how does that let us do multi-channel networking? Well, uh, over here we were observing this section of update order. If you want to, say, have another channel, we could just go, like, all the way over here and start another one here. And because whatever happens back there is also going to shift the starting input, the starting value here, it's going to get observed in the same way and well processed in the same manner. Now, this order is global for an entire server, so this applies everywhere. If I transmit data here, anyone can pick it up. Now, of course, you'd have to be careful with how you pick it up so you don't disrupt it with that. Uh, but there is ways to do that. Now, uh, more specifically, why it doesn't work on single player is because there is another lag optimization that works specifically in single player that basically randomly recalculates item IDs, which messes it up. But on servers, that is no issue, and it works flawlessly. That's everything I had to say about this. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, I love you. Bye.